Pico B3, the smart Wi-Fi thermostat with remote sensor. Hi, I'm Georgia from iMore, and this is the installation of the Eco B3 smart thermostat. So when we installed the Eco B3, we read through the instructions first. Eco B did a good job making the process seem simple. First, we went into the garage to power off the HVAC system. That was the simple part. Next, we labeled all the wires. This was a little bit more daunting because none of us had done anything like this before. The labels are stickers, so we took the stickers off the Ecobee sheet and used it to label the matching wires from our old thermostat. That took a little while, but it was easy enough. Because we had labeled the wire C, we had to skip ahead. If we hadn't, we would have had to install the power extender kit as well. Attaching the back plate was easy, but it wasn't obvious as it has two sizes because the small one was already attached. Once we figured that out, it was simple to switch and install with the procedure. Reconnecting the wires proved to be the biggest challenge. We had some labeled wires that did not match the Ecobee connectors, so we didn't know how to proceed and decided to call Ecobee support. Even though it was a weekend, they answered quickly, and while we were initially told we'd have to wait for a customer service rep, the rep answered almost immediately. Next, we plugged in the actual Ecobee3 unit. Then we went down to the garage, crossed our fingers to turn the HVAC system back on. The Ecobee screen lit up with instructions on what to do next. We followed along to set up the Wi-Fi, to register online with the provided code, and to get everything up and running. The remote sensor was even easier. We removed the battery sticker and paired it immediately when we placed it as recommended in a high traffic area. I'm Georgia from iMore and this was how to install the Ecobee 3 smart thermostat. For more great videos, check us out at iMore.com.